Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Samsung Portable SSD T7 Shield. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so before we look around the box and get into the unboxing, I'm going to just give you a few details about this SSD. So this particular model is the one terabyte model, and with it being the Shield variant of the T7 portable SSD, it has a few extra features to make it a bit more durable and rugged for the environment. So as you can see on this picture here, it sort of comes with this rubberized coating and shield around it to make it a bit more drop resistant and you can see here it says three meters of drop resistance and it also has some water resistance to it as well with an ip65 res uh, water rating resistance so this uh is aimed at more rugged use of the t7 so if you're going to be sort of pushing this ssd to its limits and a bit more rough with it i definitely recommend getting this version so it doesn't risk losing data if you drop it or get it in water or things like that. So looking around the box here, you can see this is the front here and it shows its features obviously and it says it works on Windows, Mac OS and Android. On the right hand side, it says it's got password protection, three meters of drop resistance and water and dust resistance. And it also shows some of its performance, durability and reliability. Now, unfortunately this Harvey Norman sticker is covering it up. Now that's its full retail price in Australian dollars, $239. However, we picked these up because they were heavily discounted uh, at the time. Unfortunately, that sale has ended, but I will link in the description below where you can pick these up from and definitely check out for those sales because this was um, better than half price at the time, so it was really good. On the back, it's just got some more information with the regulatory information, and it says durable external storage. And then on the left hand side, it just shows its dimensions and the makeup of it. And it shows it comes with a three year limited warranty. And it also shows the box contents. And on the bottom, there's just some serial numbers and things like that. And on the top, there's the little uh, tag to hold it on the shelf with the Samsung branding. So now let's get straight into the unboxing process. So I've got my unboxing knife here. And it's got a bit of um, plastic here that we need to get into. So. Um, I'll try my best to not damage the box here, uh, which is always easier said than done. There we go. Just sliced through that. So now we can open this up here and let's pull out the contents. So let's see how this comes out here. Oh, we got a little um, lid there that opens and then this all pulls out. So we'll put the rest of the box to the side and we'll have a look at what we get in here. So on the top it says Samsung, and it's a bit of a multiple opening box procedure here, but we can pull that out and you can see that the T7 SSD is shown front and center there. So we'll pull this one out and we'll take a close look at that in a moment. And as for the rest of the box, we'll close that part up. And then in this compartment here, we've got a few things. So I'll just open this up and put that to the side. And we'll open this here. And we've got a couple of different cables. So we've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, and we've also got a USB-C to USB type A cable. So you can sort of choose um, which one um, you want to use um, and which will work best in your workflow. Um, so whether you've got an older computer or you prefer using USB type A, or whether you might have a more modern computer which only accepts type C, you've got a few different options there. So you can use either of those different cables and swap them around at any time. And then finally in the box, we've just got um, the little handbook here uh, with some information about it and all that sort of stuff if you need that. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the SSD because that's all we've got in the box. So you can straight away feel this rubberized material all around it, as I was mentioning earlier, and you can see it's got the Samsung branding. So that's all that's on the top and bottom. And on the bottom, it says T7 Shield. So just got a little bit of branding there. 
And then on the left hand side, you've got a little indicator light that's an LED, and you've also got a USB type C port. And on the other side, you've got your serial numbers and things like that. So that's why they've given you two cables with USB-C on them, um, because the port here is USB-C, and then you can just choose what you want the other port type to be. Now on this SSD, if you look at the box here, the performance is rated up to 1050 megabytes per second read, and up to 1000 megabytes per second write speed. So what I'm going to do is I've got a bit of a around 16 or 17 gigabyte Final Cut Pro library that I would like to copy over to this SSD. So I'm going to switch over to a screen recording where I show um, that in action and we'll see how quickly it can do it. So I'll switch over to that now. All right, so now we're on the screen recording. So I've got the Samsung T7 Shield SSD all plugged in via USB-C on my Mac Mini here. And what I want to do is I want to copy over the entire Unpack Technologies Final Cut Pro library onto this SSD to see how long it takes. Now, um, this isn't the full library, obviously. Um, I usually have to um, delete it and restart it uh, every few months because I run out of storage on my computer. So hopefully this SSD can now help me to store some of these older libraries. So what I'm going to do is move this across here. So we're going to copy it to the T7 Shield and let go and let's see how long it takes. So it's opened up and it's going to take less than a minute to copy over 16.85 gigabytes. Now that is incredibly fast um, compared to all of my um, current methods of using external hard drives which I'd usually have to wait 20 to 30 minutes to copy over a similar sized file and this is just so much faster so it's really great to see the difference that this uh, SSD can make and there's your little speed test and it's now completed so that was in like uh, probably around 30 seconds I'd say um, so that was really good all right so now that we've done that quick copy test I'm going to switch back to the camera recording to finish off the video. So I'll switch over to that now. All right, so as you can see in that screen recording, the transfer speeds were very fast. And I also just gave this a quick go at video editing off it uh, in my own time before I finished this um, final part of the recording. And from my experience, it was very fast. I was running it on an M1 Mac Mini and I didn't notice much difference compared to video editing on the um, internal storage, which um, was really good. Um, so I'm now moving my full editing workflow to one of these Samsung T7 Shield SSDs and it was working just fine. There were no hiccups and it felt like I was working off the internal storage like I used to. So it was really good. So yeah, once again, I'll link the links in the description uh, for you guys to check out if you'd like to pick one of these up. It's a really great SSD, so I strongly recommend it. The Samsung SSD range is one of the best out there. So it's a little bit pricier than maybe some of the alternatives, but it's definitely worth the price because they are durable, they last a long time, and they're reliable and also fast. So uh, definitely check one of these out if you're looking for an external drive. Um, you can also get hard drives as well, but these just offer that extra speed if you're wanting to video edit or transfer large files. It's just so much better. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and gave you a good insight into the unboxing experience and how uh, fast one of these actually are. Um, and whether you should pick up one for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other particular videos or tests you would like to see on this T7 Shield and whether you'd like a long-term review in a couple of months or so because I'm more than happy to make that if you would like to see that. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.